Hello Cancerians, I'm back. So I got requests from different signs, which also include Cancerians, by the way, to um, do readings for Valentine's week. A lot of you are not in contact currently with your soulmate, your love interest, your love. And some of you are in very limited contact, which means there's a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding. So let's do this. Uh, so we're going to ask your energies, what you're dealing with this coming week, Valentine's week, which is very important. It's a traditional time for love and relationships. We're going to ask your other persons, your soulmates, feelings towards you this important week. Uh, any decisions they're making regarding your connection, how they're feeling about you and what's standing in the connection. So let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear messages collectively for the sign of cancer, for the highest good for this Valentine's week, which extends between February 8th and February 16th going into the Valentine's weekend. Universe, please step in, show very clear messages, important messages you need the sign of cancer collectively to see for the highest good regarding their connection, their relationship with their soulmate. What is going on with the Cancerians? So Cancerians, right off the bat, right here with the Four of Pentacles, you are unable to release this individual. So you love this person, even though a lot of you are not in contact with this person, there's no communication. You are unable to release this person, even though you tried. So there's something unresolved that the two of you need to talk about and resolve. Unfinished business showing up here. Yeah, you would be happy and they would be happy too if the two of you reconnected. So somebody's going to have to reach out eventually. Cancerians, you are very worried about this connection. You are losing too much sleep over it. Yeah, it's affecting you. It's affecting you a lot emotionally, mentally, too much stress. So you have too much stress because of not being able to speak to this person, no matter what sign they are. So far, we're showing earth signs, fire signs, air signs. So you are very stressed out about not having resolution in this connection with this person you want to talk and resolve things universe please show clarification how is cancerian doing how is cancer doing with this connection this important valentine's week so you miss this person a lot cancerians no matter what sign this person is that you love and missing you missing this person a lot Five of Pentacles, unable to let go. You want to communicate. And actually, they already showing. The universe is already showing you. And we didn't even ask for advice yet. That the best course of action for both of you in this connection would be honest communication face to face. This is honest communication, open communication, ace of swords, resolution, yeah, you have too much stress, Cancerians. Nine of Swords with Ten of Swords. Too much stress you're putting on yourself. You're very closed off. You're very closed off emotionally. So you need your time alone. And um, you need time of healing for this uh, situation to get better. Right now... Work on yourself and uh, making yourself happy. You're very guarded emotionally. Yeah. So your heart was broken by this person. Three of Swords. So you, you are healing a broken heart. You see this? 
three of swords, heart being stabbed by three swords. So in a lot of cases here, one of you, either them or you, had third party involvement and that ruined the relationship. But that doesn't mean it's ruined for life. This can be repaired. But the two of you would need to talk openly face to face. So you, you are being very withdrawn. You are feeling heartbreak from, from this uh, relationship, what happened. So something bad happened and you feel terrible loss. You feel heartbreak. And as a result, you're very withdrawn. Here's the Virgo energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, but don't have to be. Um, you feeling like a Virgo, like a hermit right now withdrawn trying to heal your heart from deep disappointment the universe is showing you that no matter what happens in the near future you're going to get some kind of resolution there is going to be a victory to the situation where you, you either will be able to forgive and move on without them or you'll be able to reconcile with them For some of you you will reconcile Here's the victory card, six of wands, showing up from two different decks in the same spread. Four of cups. So you would like to, you would like to reach out to this person, but you don't know how they really feel towards you and you don't want to be rejected and shut down. Also, <clears throat> you know that they are withdrawn and very guarded with their heart as well. So both of you are very guarded. And neither one of you is extending the olive branch to communicate. So you feel, even though you don't have contact with them currently, you feel that they are very withdrawn. And so are you. Mm -hmm. You are trying to heal from great emotional disappointment, heartache. So you're doing good. You're doing what you need to be doing. You are concentrating on yourself, uh, your family members, your interests, your uh, pentacles, your money, your coins. But you lose too much sleep and worry too much excessively. You worry too much. You're not sleeping good. You worry too much about the future. Release the future and have faith and trust in divine timing mm -hmm. let's see what the other person is dealing with what decision they will make during this important traditional week of love it's a traditional <coughs> i don't know if i would call it a holiday but it's a traditional celebration of love <coughs> i'm so sorry i'm trying to get over a cold hold on I'm just going to take a cough drop so I can continue your reading. Now, we're going to concentrate on the other person's energies towards you, what decisions they'll be making in this connection with you, this important week, Valentine's Day week, between the 8th and the 16th. Universe, please step in, show very important messages for the sign of cancer. What is the soulmate feeling and what are the decisions they're making in this connection towards Cancerian? So they can be very hasty, but this also means you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They are very independent, good with business, good with money. They don't know what to do about this connection. They want to rush in. They really want to rush in, but then they stop themselves. They get scared. They don't know how they're going to be received by you if they extend the olive branch and let you know. And they really want to uh, extend their cup of love. So they are interested in coming back to you but they don't know some of them think that you already have somebody else that you're interested in somebody else 
I'm not saying you are. I don't think you are. Because you have three of swords that showed up earlier. So you're not interested in anybody else. You're trying to heal from a heartbreak. But they think you may be interested in other people. That you have other interests. So they don't want to make a fool out of themselves. And run to you just to be found, just to find out that you have somebody else. They have a lot of pride. The person you're dealing with, especially if it's a fire sign, they're very prideful. Ooh, geez. So listen, Cassarians, in case you didn't know, this confirms that they are just as heartbroken as you are about the uh, breakup of this connection. They are just as heartbroken as you are. Three of Swords, heartbreak. So they are suffering emotionally just like you are. Your energy showed up here. Uh, chariot, Cancer energy, Victorious energy. They would like to come back to you and have another chance with you, Cancerians. But because of how prideful they are, they want to make sure that they're going to be victorious. So they, they're scared of taking a chance. Because if they knew for a fact that you would receive them in a positive way, they would extend the olive branch. But they're scared of rejection. They're scared you're going to say, no, I'm not interested in talking to you. So this person is very worried that you may be interested in other people because they don't hear from you, that you are forgetting about them. So they would like to, they would like to work with you on this. They, they would, they are hoping that their fears are just fears, that they are not true, that you would be willing to work with them on this connection, on reconnecting Mm-hmm. So far, so good. So they're feeling the same pain you're feeling, which means they care about you just like you care about them. Universe, please show more clarification. How is the soulmate of Cancerian feeling towards Cancerian this week? What decisions are they making? So they would like to reunite face-to-face -face with you. Yeah, face-to-face. -face. But their energy is very unbalanced, very hasty, not grounded whatsoever. So they would be willing to put in, to put in the actual work to make this connection work. But they are very hasty. This is not balanced energy. So if they ran to you now, uh, they wouldn't be grounded and balanced enough to stay. So they are unbalanced right now. Very unbalanced. They worried that you are not interested in, in them anymore. That you don't care about them anymore like you used to. That's what they worried about. And that's why they are scared to reach out. Let's see. This... Valentine's week, how they are feeling about you and what's standing in the way of the connection. What's standing in the way? Are they, let's see, what's standing in the way? Six of Pentacles, yeah. Sun card, beautiful. Leo energy on board. The devil. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Others could be dealing with Capricorn. But could be any sign whatsoever. What's standing in this con in the way of this connection right now is uh, it shows here, Cancerians, that you are in love with this person. But you're very angry with them. And I'm not saying you don't have the right to be angry. They must have done something very wrong for you to feel this type of anger towards them. Resentment. But you do love this person. You still love this person. 
and are willing to forgive if they would just communicate so what's standing in this connection currently what's standing in the way of this connection currently is no communication and you feeling very resentful and angry towards them i'm sure you have your reasons you're very angry with them and disappointed but you still love this person you do mm -hmm. seven of pentacles So you're waiting on them. You're waiting to see what they do. If they contact you or say something, anything. You're patiently waiting. I love this temperance energy. This also represents, I think, Sagittarius. Yeah. Temperance Sagittarius. So Cancerians, this person realizes, no matter what sign they are, with these two cups here, that's like another major arcana of the two of cups, which is soulmate. So they see you as their soulmate. So they realizing now, if they took you for granted before, either cheated on you or strayed away or didn't appreciate you or didn't put in enough work in this connection, now that you're gone and they truly miss you, they realize how much value you have in their life and they see that it's you they want so they angry with themselves too but they're very prideful big ego showing up here usually um empress is a very good energy it is but it's on top of the devil so this person thinks too highly of themselves to reach out. So this person is a little arrogant. Especially if you if you are dealing with a woman, if your soulmate is a woman, she is arrogant. She comes across as snooty and thinks she's too good to reach out to other people. This, so she needs lessons to learn. So... You're not only loving this person, but you still hold passion for this person. <clears throat> so you're standing here very strong. You feel beat up from the heartache you're feeling, but you're very strong, very resilient. Ten of Cups, beautiful. So... You two are soulmates from other lifetimes. You learn from challenges from each other. Your beautiful energy showed up in here, Cancerian. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus. Uh, here's your energy, Cancerian. Beautiful energy of victory. So no matter what you decide to do, you're going to be victorious. Whether you decide to finally let this person go and release them in peace or come back to them, there will be some positive resolution to both of you, for both of you in this situation. So you balance a lot of karmic debts with this person. So you've balanced, you've learned a lot from each other through these challenges. And it's true, we always learn through challenges. If there are no challenges in relationships, we don't learn. This person has a big ego, though. They're very stubborn, arrogant, and have a big ego. Mm -hmm. Especially if, if it's a woman. She's showing up here as empress, yes, but on top of the devil. So you're dealing with somebody who is arrogant, most likely doing well financially, and looks down on other people. So she needs to get off her high horse to learn. Yeah, to learn humility. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, Cancerians, join me in the extended reading. We're going to ask what their true intentions will be uh, for you, towards you, this Valentine's week. 
uh, what decisions they will make, uh, any secrets they are withholding from you, any um, anything that they're holding from you back, uh, their plans and advice for you, Cancerians, from the universe, what the universe and your guides are advising you to do. Okay, so thank you. And please, please click on the extended reading link below this video um, in the description box. And I'll see you there. Wish you all the best, Cancerians. Thank you. Thank you for all the letters. I appreciate you guys.